Peggy Cummins was born on the 18th of December 1925 and died on the 29th of December 2017. He was a Welsh-born Irish actress, best known for her performance in Joseph H. Lewis's Gun Crazy, 1949, playing a trigger-happy femme fatale, who robs banks with her lover, played by John Doe. Cummins was born August to Margaret Diane Fuller in Prestoton, Denbighshire, Wales. Her Irish parents were visiting there when a storm kept them from returning to their home in Dublin. She lived most of her early life in Dublin, where she was educated, and later in London. Her father was Dublin-born Franklin Bland Fuller, 1897-1943, who was a grandson of architect James Franklin Fuller. Her mother was actress Margaret Cummins, 1889-1973, who played such film roles as Anna in Smart Woman and Emily in The Sign of the Ram, both 1948. In 1938, actor Peter Brock noticed Cummins at a Dublin tram stop and introduced her to Dublin's Gate Theatre Company. Peggy's London stage debut was in the role of Marianne, the juvenile lead in Let's Pretend a children's review which opened at the St. James's Theatre on her 13th birthday. On the basis of this she was cast the British film directed by Herbert Mason, Dr. Rodoud, 1940. As part of an agreement with the London County Council, Cummins was limited to five hours of filming per day and had to be supervised by a governess. Cummins went on to have support roles in Salute John Citizen. 1942, and Old Mother Riley Detective, 1943. She appeared on the London stage in 1943 aged 17, playing the part of 12-year-old Fuffy in Junior Miss at the Savile Theatre and in the title role of Alice in Wonderland in 1944 at the Palace Theatre. Her first major film was English Without Tears, 1944 with Michael Wilding and Lily Palmer, directed by Harold French and released in the USA as her man Gilby. She followed this with Welcome, Mr. Washington. In 1945, Cummins was brought to Hollywood by Darrell F. Zanuck, head of 20th Century Fox, to play Amber in Kathleen Winters for Ever Amber, 1947. Because she was considered too young, she was soon replaced by Linda Darnell. Zanuck then gave her a lead role in a mystery, Moss Rose, 1947, directed by Gregory Ratoff, which was a financial disappointment. 3. He tried her in two films directed by Joseph L. Mankiewicz, the late George Ipley, 1947, playing the daughter of Ronald Coleman and Escape 1948, CO starring with Rex Harrison. Cummins then appeared with Charles Coburn in Green Grass of Wyoming, 1948, a sequel to My Friend Flicker released in 1943. Cummins returned to Europe to appear in That Dangerous Age, 1948, for Alexander Corder, directed by Gregory Ratoff with Myrna Loy and Roger Livesey. 5. She went back to the US for Gun Crazy, 1949. I loved being in Hollywood, she told the Sunday Times a few years before she died, 6. But it was her last film shot in the United States. She returned to London in 1950 to marry and work in British films. She made My Daughter Joy, 1950. The Corda and Ratoff, co-starring with Edward G. Robinson and starred in Who Goes There? 1952, The Corda and Street Corner, 1953, for Muriel Box. Around the same time, she appeared in Meet Mr. Lucifer, an Ealing Studios comedy, and Always a Bride with Ronald Squires, both also 1953. Cummins was in The Love Lottery, 1954, with David Niven, and to Dorothea Sun, 1954, with Shelley Winters and John Gregson. She starred in The March Hare, 1956, 
with Terence Morgan, and Carry on Admiral, 1957, with David Tomlinson. She later starred alongside Dana Andrews in the horror film Night of the Demon, 1957, directed by Jacques Tourneur, and Hell Drivers, also 1957, which featured Stanley Baker, Patrick McGowan, and Herbert Lom. Cummins went back to comedies with The Captain's Table, 1959, Your Money or Your Wife, 1960, and Dentist in the Chair, 1960. Her last film, was Darcy Conyers in The Doghouse, 1961, alongside Leslie Phillips. In 1998, Gun Crazy, 1950, was selected for preservation in the United States National Film Registry by the Library of Congress, as being culturally, historically, or aesthetically significant. Michael Adams wrote in Movie Line in August 2009 that the film was directed by B-movie specialist Joseph H. Lewis from a script go written by McKinley Cantor and blacklisted Dalton Trumbo, fronted by his friend Millard Kaufman. Gun Crazy was made for $400,000 in 30 days in 1949. Movie Line found Cummins in 2009, still healthy. It was a great part she said of Laurie Starr. It was a brilliant story from a brilliant writer. We had a very good director and a great cameraman. I think John Dool and myself were in those days quite well suited in the parts we had. The film played at the British Film Institute in London in February 2009. At the on the 14th of June 2006, she appeared as guest of honour at a special screening of Night of the Demon in Borehamwood, Hertfordshire hosted by the Elstree Film and Television Heritage Group. At the screening, she answered questions from the audience before viewing the film for the first time. She said she had never worked with her co-star Dana Andrews before, though she knew and liked him, they remained friends for the rest of his life. On 29 September 2010, Cummins introduced the film Street Corner, 1953 as part of the Capital Tales event at BFI South Bank London hosted by curator Joe Botting. She played Bridget Foster in the film written by Muriel and Sidney Box and directed by Muriel Box. On 29 August 2013, Cummins introduced the world premiere of a digital remastering of Night of the Demon, screened by the British Film Institute in the courtyard of the British Museum. The screening location features prominently in the film, with shots of the courtyard before a key scene in which the psychologist Holden meets a cultist Carswell for the first time in the British Library, which until 1998 was housed within the museum. Screening, Cummins viewed the film with an audience for the first time in six decades.